Hello dear people, today we will check uh, the Blender Geometry Nodes and how to make a typewriter effect. Um, for this video, I already made a standard setting, uh, prepared something. Uh, it is already animated and it's basically the letters are appearing over time in as is an animation. Um, now we will do it from scratch. I prepared a scene for this. So most basic thing that we will do is first of all uh, creating any kind of object for the geometry node setting. Um, I will take a basic circle for this. Uh, it doesn't matter because we will anyway delete it. Uh, we will not use the basic shape. Um, first of all I will need a um, string to curve node. This is the most basic part of this uh, letter. Uh, typewriting effect. So um, it is and we will take it here. Okay. And um, here you will see it's already the text is converted to, to a curve and it is already uh, put here. But it won't be visible. Uh, it will if it will not render it is just this curve. Uh, we will fill this, we will need to have this, fill this curve. Um, for this, we go to the curve and fill curve setting. Here you will see that it is uh, rendered as a solid. Um, and then we have to, of course, set the, let's set the material. We will first of all create a material here. You will not see because it's not applied yet. And then we will make this, let's call it red material. We will go back and add um, set material node here in between and choose the desired material. Now it is, it is here, uh, but the typewriter effect is not yet there. Um, for this, we have to play with the, uh, with the string and with the uh, with the instancing the number of the string. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we can add a slice string node. So let's add this. It's also on the text bar, slice string. And of course it disappears. We have to copy our text here. Copy and here paste. And we will use this. And we will use just slices of this text. and this is done here. Uh, the length of it is the slicing. It will write it down. We can animate this, this issue or this, um, this property. And the position is when it will start. So the length, the length of it, uh, we can animate. Let's animate it. We, will, we can have put a frame here. Uh, let's put it at zero. And Let's say I will have it written fully on frame 80. And then we will put here the 10 because we have 10 letters. Here 5 and here 5. Again, put another um, key frame here. And then you will see that it is already animated. Of course, we can animate this or uh, without using keyframes. We can also animate it by using the input attribute scene time. So you can use the seconds or the frame of the scene time. But here we have, I think, more, more control. So if you select the node, you can also see in the timeline the selected keyframes. And you can, of course, play, the, play with their positions, making the animation faster or slower. So this is the animation part of it. Um, now we can also check uh, the properties of the of the string to curves node here uh, we have let's go written function we have the size of course uh, this is the, also in the in the text tab of of a text text option a uh, text object you will find the same uh, character spacing is how much the character each character has the spaced word spacing is we will have a second word let's make another word typewriter effect and it's not yet visible because we, we put the second keyframe here. Um, we will also can 
make the, this two go. Oh, it is like six, I think. Yeah, then we will have in total sixteen characters. So we can animate the length also to sixteen. Seventeen, I think. Seventeen. Uh, so looks it's fully written. This would be done. Word spacing would be the first self explaining space between words. Line, line uh, spacing is in effect if you have multiple lines. For this, of course, we will have a, we will be need a text box. Um, let's make here the text box effect. Uh, if by zero it is like it's, uh, infinite, and if we put it here, the the text box will be around here this size. So, and then we can use also the line spacing between multiple lines. Uh, text box, we, we also need to, uh, to check the, for this effect to, we'll have it a little bit bigger. You will see that, uh, you'll see that the first E of, the, of this could appear also here. So you have to play with it a little bit in order to put the second word uh, to the second line and not just like starting here and like after some while that the uh, width of the box is not enough and then it jumps down so you have to just find the right position for it there is no automatical spacing for this yet uh, programmed in the in blender okay um of course the another another nice thing would be having using just the same geometry node setting for multiple text and not making another one if I will copy this and I will make another another line. Let's say I want to change the text to, to something else. And let's call it blender. No, it is I can't I can't copy it here. Uh, then I, I I would need to make another geometry nodes instance. Instead of this, you can just connect the string input here to the group input node. And you will have it, um, you can now change for each object, each of your objects, the text just here, without um, smashing the geometry nodes. So you have still two instances of the geometry nodes, but each have this group input, the string, a different string for this, for their input. So this is the basically um, everything which you need to create a typewriter in Blender.